So what about initial momentum? Which one had the largest in initial momentum? All the same. They had the same mass, they're going the same speed. What about at the end? They're all stopped. No momentum at the end. They all had the same initial momentum, they all had the same final momentum, they all had the same change in momentum. Everybody came to a stop, fortunately or unfortunately. Which driver had the largest force exerted on them? They had the same momentum change, so the decision about forces is a decision about which one had uh, interacted with whatever was slowing them down for the shortest amount of time. Because that's the person that needed the largest force. Because they all had the same momentum change. 